be on. Tell him to go to work. Okay. Hi ho, hi ho, it's home to Murphy Go. If you've got a good head on your shoulders and like something that keeps you on the move, this could be just the ticket. Here's what our present employees have to say about the unique opportunity that awaits. I hope, I hope. Believe it or not, as ludicrous as it may sound, I might have done it for nothing. You get top pay, travel, you get to see the country, and you get treated well. There's a lot of advantages here. Sound too good to be true? Well, there is one slight drawback. The job is sparring partner for Mike Tyson. If most fighters can't last more than one round with Tyson, why would you want to box with him every day? It's like a, a fight. You, you, you rib yourself up, you get yourself geared up to actually face this guy every day. And you look to try to hurt him because he's trying to hurt you. You must do nothing but concentrate on nothing but Mike Tyson for three minutes. And before you get in the ring, you have to really prime yourself up for that. If you don't, then that could create problems for you. In a sense, this is not really a sparring session, but a fighting session. I always make it a point to say, look, I want you to go out there, and I want you to do the best you can do. I want you to go out there, and I want you to hold them back. This isn't a sparring match. I tell them, you, my guy's here to fight. My guy's going to go hard. And they're called sparring partners. Not so. Perhaps a fighting partner would be more appropriate. I train the way I fight. If someone comes to box with me and they're not serious, I think they're making a very foolish mistake. I think the best profit of it is when you have a sparring partner in there that's not intimidated and is throwing punches and trying his best to get the edge and win. Like it's a fight, trying to knock you out. But thus far, no partner has stayed around long enough to even come close to knocking Tyson down. Most major camps pay sparring partners up to $500 a week for approximately 15 rounds of sparring. Yet in the past year, the young Tyson has had over two dozen employees come and go. A folder has been kept, which lists past and potential Tyson fighting partners. While some didn't last too long, there have been others who simply wanted no part of Mr. Tyson. I've had guys walk right out. I had one guy walk right out. That was it, boom, boom, he didn't even go to get paid. Some of them say, well, this ain't for me. And they go. Or they don't come back, you know. They say, I'll call you, and they never call. We call them, and they got to work, they got a job, they got this or they got that. When your fights have been as brief as Tyson's, good fighting partners and sparring sessions are a necessity. Therefore, Mike has occasionally worked with well-known fighters. The list is long. Tyrell Biggs, James Broad, Frank Bruno, Carlos Stelion, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, and Carl the Truth Williams. But in every case, the relationship between Tyson and his partners is generally confined to the gym. We're friends to a certain extent. Is there a possibility I might fight them? I, I respect them always, but you know, sometimes this is a business, and sometimes you wind up fighting your sparring partners. So, if you want a job with the Tyson Company, keep one thing in mind before showing up for work. You don't get anything without working for it, and sweating for it, and sometimes bleeding for it. 